Look at that. You get that truck as a lease purchase. Well, you know where I'm at. Let's do a pre-trip on this 2022 uh, Peterbilt day cab. Yeet, yeet. Check this out. This one's got the leather. We got digital gauges. Hopefully this is a... Uh, because dang, it's cold. <laughs> this little guy only has oh, 186,000 miles. This one is on the wheeling run, which is what I'm running today, and it's uh, probably the most miles you can get in a day <laughs> with FedEx. That door already pops. Quality, guys, quality. Oh, it's freezing. I gotta get back in my truck. Freezing. I was gonna do like a day in the life or something, but nah, I just don't wanna shoot that much. I'm not gonna drive and record anyways. Ever wonder what that does? Let's do a light check. And all that does is just make all the lights go on at random time. I didn't check the fuel yet. Hopefully I got enough to make it up there. This truck only does the willing run. It's a 640 mile trip, round trip. So, you know, we fuel there until this FedEx here comes up with a uh, uh, fuel station. It's one of the only major hubs that don't have its own fuel station. That's because it didn't do something right with the permits or something. Check this out. It does its own systems check. Yeah, this truck's really nice. Check out the steering wheel. Got all these buttons. <laughs> Keep in mind, I've only drove this once before, but it remembered my phone. I'm already, uh, I'm already connected. Hell, you might not even hear me. Just the ride I used to drive here. The 2021, I think, 2020, Cas uh, uh, Cascadia. I wish. Uh, Volvo over there, but I'm taking one trailer. That's always good. Anybody know anything about FedEx, you hear uh, one trailer, that means it's a little bit less work for you. It's a little bit less money too, though, because you get paid for the, most places will pay you for, you know, hooking a set of doubles. They pay you a little more. Actually, they pay you to hook a set, or a regular trailer too. Not much though, but. Anyways, what's today's date, guys? Oh, it's Lillian's birthday, the 18th. Oh, yeah. Everybody say happy birthday, Lillian. Uh, we went and did her birthday party last night, and then I posted on it, and probably got a lot of people thinking it was her birthday then, but because I, I said happy birthday party, that's my thing. I always say happy birthday party when it's some someone's birthday party day. Because, anyways, check it out. We got power windows, power mirrors, heated mirrors. Um, he ordered more of these. And we got one coming in January. He made sure to get bigger mirrors. These mirrors are low profile, and honestly, I don't like them. Nobody likes them here. Um, say what you want, nobody likes them. And it's got the side, you know, protect. But that's what's up with this truck. I mean, I haven't showed you everything, but I don't know what everything is because I haven't drove the truck long enough to to give you any information. But I gotta go. Peace. All right, last thing before I go. Check this out. Kenworth always has their damn headlights away over here, almost out of reach if you're sitting on the floor like most of you guys do in these those trucks. Peterbilt freaking figured it out. Yeah, that's right. All the lighting stuff is right here. I am happy. You know what I mean? You got this whole side here to do the lights and stuff. And unfortunately, they don't have it set yet on this this one at least. Maybe it might have been there or here where you blink the headlights at people. But yeah, you can easily just reach over here and do that. You know what I mean? I just I like uh uh, Freightliner has it like right there or maybe right here you got your your you know your regular lights or your you know your uh, interior I forget what they're called you know where you blink your trailer lights and shit or you got the one for headlights right there or uh, maybe it was over here I don't remember Freightliner had that figured out but that's okay
Peace, guys. <laughs> so here's another trucking company I was thinking about. Because they do reefer. Look at that. You get that truck as a lease purchase. Um, there's a little bit down and all that. First thing is you um, pay or you get or something 90 days you have to just take on a used truck or something I don't know exactly I don't understand it let me show you the Craigslist listing or indeed I can't remember what it was maybe it's just off their website but uh after 90 days you get to pick a truck that you want after 90 days you can pick your own paint scheme and get a new truck just like pay it off in five years it's like man the amount of fuel though I don't know there's a couple other ones I'm looking at too, but I think there's my trailer. There's the trailer I had, and I believe I just seen my trailer in them woods coming up. It's gotta be a Fedzy, it'll start with a five. I can't remember the numbers right now, I didn't write them down either. Let's see. Five, six, nine, four, six, seven. Let's see what this says. That's it. Yep, so he's gonna do that and then I'm gonna grab that trailer and get home. And just like that, we made it back. No active full. All right, as the Tundra warms up, I wanted to show you guys a couple things right quick about this truck that I like. Um, you're right here, I think. The lighting in this truck is amazing. The lighting is amazing. What really amazed me out of everything, you can't see it. There's lightning bolts here where the USB plugs in. Ah, you can't see it, I'm sorry. Um, the USB plugs in down there and it, do, it doesn't say it's quick charging, like on the phone, you know, the new, um, the newer phones will, you know, tell you if it's fast charging or whatever. It doesn't say it is, but with my phone playing a podcast and um, Google Maps just for, you know, in case of accidents and stuff, I always run Google Maps in the background. That way I can hear if there's a slowdown ahead, um, you can see it turn red. But anyways, um, it charged it quick, like just as quick almost as my fast charger. It just doesn't say that it's a fast charger. So yeah, that's uh, 2022 Peterbilt, guys. I would like the sleeper version. Pretty good truck. Oh, well, automatic. Let's talk about this. Let's break this down. If you've never driven an automatic um, semi, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Um, let's get in the menu real quick and see what we can see. First off, how cool is that? Um, this has the, you can adjust the following distance. Um, that's all the cruise control stuff. Here's the menu. Got suspension load, you can turn all that off, bring it back. Uh oh, yep. See, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna quit. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of menu stuff you can do. But the automatic transmission, and this is the same for the Kenworth. Um, he's got a sleeper Kenworth that's a 2020, and it has the same transmission. It's it. It's trying to use the lowest RPM possible, so imagine coming up on a hill and dragging that 12th gear out all the way till a thousand rpm when you've lost all your oomph and then it'll downshift lose a couple miles per hour um it's kind of frustrating you know but i don't know um that's definitely downfall of a truck like this and of course you've got the the uh rocker switches instead of toggle switches you know i'm a big uh that's a big pet peeve of mine these switches they you have to really get on get on them but we're gonna go off duty and we're gonna go home. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back because most don't. Thanks for watching this trucking life.